Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. We're finishing up the SEC West Division today with our final team, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Mississippi State is coming off a 6-7 and seven season where they actually won their bowl game. They finished the season 5-7 and seven in dominating fashion over Ole Miss in the Egg Bowl, but because of their academics were able to get into a bowl with a losing record, and then they narrowly beat Miami, Ohio in their bowl game uh, after a blocked field goal. So this year they have much higher expectations, definitely not 5-7 and seven expectations. Uh, they're going to be led by quarterback Nick Fitzgerald, which I've been talking about in my previous videos. Uh, so let's just get right down to it. Uh, opening the season against Charleston Southern, uh, it's going to be an easy win. Uh, they're not going to lose their home opener like they did last year against South Alabama, if you do remember that. Then um, they travel to Louisiana Tech, which is not an easy matchup for that team. Um, you know, Louisiana Tech took Arkansas down to the wire last season. They uh, played Texas Tech really close. Um, and then they beat Navy in their bowl game last year. And they returned a couple of their key starters, including their quarterback as well. So that's going to be a tough game for Mississippi State. But I do think they're going to get the win on the road. Uh, it's a tough early season matchup there, though. Then LSU, the SEC opener. Uh, as I said in my LSU video, this is going to be a tough game for both teams in the SEC opener, but I'm picking Mississippi State to win this game because it's at home, cowbells are going to be loud, and Nick Fitzgerald is going to pose a threat. You remember last time uh, there was kind of a debate about whether Mississippi State would be LSU, and Dak Prescott kind of rushed onto the scene. Uh, I think that's what's going to happen with Nick Fitzgerald in this game. Um, so then very tough games at Georgia and at Auburn, back-to-back -back like that. Um, at Georgia, I do think they're going to lose this game. Um, that Georgia's definitely going to be a good team this year. You'll have to see what I think about them in my predictions later on. Uh, but uh, Jacob Eason, their quarterback, is, is one of the best in the East. So um, I do I do like Georgia in that game. Then Auburn, as you saw earlier in my Auburn video, I um, will pick Auburn to win that game. Um, I'm not buying into the Auburn hype yet, as I've said before. Uh, Jarrett Stidham could be, be the man on the planes. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, much needed bye week after five straight games. They're three and two. It's not bad. Uh, then they get BYU at home. If you remember last year, they traveled to BYU, and that was a thriller. I think that game went into double overtime. Uh, I do think Mississippi State gets the win against the independent team, but BYU is always a good independent team. They're they're a perennial uh, eight win, nine win team. So that's not going to be an easy matchup for them. Uh, then they get Kentucky at home, so back-to-back -back home games. Now, this is going to be a key game for Mississippi State. Could kind of define the whole season right here uh, at 4-2 and two with two conference losses. They do beat Kentucky, I think, even though Kentucky um, is much improved. You'll see m more about them later on when I do Kentucky's predictions. Uh, at Texas A&M, uh, that's going to be a loss, I think. As you saw in my A&M video earlier, uh, I just think a and is definitely going to need this win to make it to a bowl game. Uh, and at College Station, I just don't like Mississippi State's chances there. Uh, UMass, Massachusetts, has 15 returning starters this year. They're going to be really, really close to making the bowl game. You'll hear what I have to say about them later on. Uh, that, that's going to be a, uh, a tough team. They have a very good defense. But last year, Mississippi State had to go up to the Massachusetts area. This year, Massachusetts comes down there. Another easy win for them. Alabama. Um, I mean, you saw in my Alabama video, Nick Fitzgerald, this game will be closer than what it was in Tuscaloosa last year. It will not be as bad of a blowout. I think that game was like 53-3 to or something. Uh, that will not be the case, but Mississippi State won't be able to get it done at home. At Arkansas, as you've seen earlier, I think Arkansas have them going 9-3. and That's going to be a tough matchup for Mississippi State, matching up against Austin Allen and Arkansas's powerful run game. I don't think Mississippi State gets the job done there. And then Ole Miss in the Egg Bowl, uh, this is going to be a you know, great robbery. This is actually going to be played on Thanksgiving night. I think Mississippi State gets it done at home. They killed Ole Miss last year on the road on, at Ole Miss. I think they're going to get it done at Starkville. Um, you know, I just like Nick Fitzgerald and, and, their, and their team. Dan Mullen is doing great things down in Stark Vegas. And I think that, as I've said, Ole Miss, just, I don't know how much motivation will be there. But this will be the biggest game for Ole Miss by far, no matter what happens. Uh, on a one-year bowl ban, if you can defeat your rival in the season, uh, closer that would be huge for them so in the end 
I've got Mississippi State finishing middle of the pack, not last, like the media always predicts, with a 7-5 and five record. Uh, they'll probably be placed around 4th or 5th in the SEC. Um, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see this team and see what Nick Fitzgerald has to offer. Uh, that's all for today on the Gridiron Expert. Please continue to subscribe and leave likes and comments, share your predictions, and we'll see you next time.